I want to show today some more Filipino bolo machetes. Uh, the, var the variety of uh, Filipino bolos is endless. Uh, you have different types of bolos and uh, almost every island got a different style of bolo. And on top of it, uh, on the big islands, every tribe got also a, a different style of bolo machetes. So the variety of bolo machetes is just endless. Um, the one that I want to show today, as, as all of these bolos, they are made from high carbon steel with a wooden sheath. This one here is uh, custom made for me. It's a typical uh, Boholano bolo with a Carabao water buffalo horn handle. This shape is typical for Bohol. I see it used in Bohol many, many times. This one got a little bit better quality. The handle is made out of horn, buffalo horn, and it got a pin. So the, the blade cannot come off. I ordered this, uh, this bolo with a convex grind. Unlike many bolos that are uh, flat on one side and convex on the other side, this bolo is convex on both sides. Many of these bolos have the problem that, uh, that the, heat, the heat treatment is not very good. That means the blacksmith will harden the plate but not temper it. So if you hit a stone accidentally, it can happen that, uh, that the tip of the plate uh, breaks right off. So I ordered this, uh, this one with, uh, with a different heat treatment that is called Sobo. Sobo heat treatment means the, the blade is softer, it's not so hard and uh, it will not break that easy. But uh, unfortunately it's a little bit too soft now. I hope you can see that right here and here are some small chippings that comes from uh, dry bamboo. Dry bamboo is, uh, is pretty tough stuff. If you want to test a machete about uh, the quality, <laughs> just get a piece of dry bamboo and uh, try to chop it into pieces and you will see how good your, mach your machete is. And I got this area here that is not sharpened. There is no edge in this area so I can hold for carving tests. I can hold the bolo like that and carve. The second one that I want to show is this one. It is made in Luzon, but uh, I see this shape, this style of bolo, most of the time used here in uh, Palawan. This shape is better than you think it is. What I realized is when you, when you use a machete with a straight edge, and uh, you want to chop some, some thin material, some wines or whatever. You need a high velocity. And uh, with this flat edge, you can use the very tip of it. Unlike with this shape, if I use here the very tip of this blade, it will not really work because of the angle. But with this style, you can use the very tip for, for small stuff like uh, the diameter, like your pinky. And I kind of like it. If you can see that, it got here inside a metal ring, so that the handle cannot split. 
and uh, I drilled a hole to put a nail as a pin into it so the handle cannot come off. The third one here is a pretty cheap one. Uh, it got nothing traditional. That color is not traditional and uh, the, the way how they made the handle and everything is not a very good quality. Um, I basically just bought it for that blade. I can tell already that uh, that the handle is not very good. The blade will come off sooner or later. So uh, I'm probably going to replace the handle and use the blade only. As always, thank you for watching and uh, please check out the other videos on my channel and I'll catch you in the next one.